Just in the last five minutes, uh, Nigella Lawson was asked the direct question by Anthony Metzer, the defence barrister for Lisa Grillo. Have you ever been an habitual uh, drug user? She said, I have never been a drug addict or habitual user, but there were two occasions when I took cocaine. The first was when my husband, uh, John Diamond, knew his cancer was terminal and he was introduced to it. And on around six occasions, I joined in with him. It was only a small amount. It gave him some escape. She said, I didn't want escape because I needed to look after him. She did speak to his doctor and an expert on palliative care at the time because she was troubled about the use of cocaine and she was told by this doctor, she said, just let him use it. She said that there was another time that she used it in July 2010. She said, and this was obviously well after the death of John Diamond and she's now married uh, at this point to Charles Satchi. She said, in July 2010, I was having a very, very difficult time. I felt subjected to intimate terrorism by Mr. Saatchi and felt totally ashamed, isolated and in fear. I was just unhappy. A friend offered it to me and I took it. It completely spooked me. She said, and she was reminded that she was testifying under oath, and she said, as a witness here, I've got no legal protection. But she said, I can tell you my GP has given permission to say that the idea that I am a drug addict or habitual user of cocaine is ridiculous. I do not have a drug problem. I have a life problem. She said that Charles Saatchi knows this is a lie, and she went into some detail for the first ever time on that famous incident in Scott's restaurant where Charles Saatchi was pictured with his hands around Nigella Lawson's throat. The background to that incident has now been revealed. Nigella Lawson said that she was having a conversation with her then-husband about wanting to have grandchildren because she'd seen someone walking past with a small baby. She said, he grabbed me by the throat... She, he said, I am the only person you should be concerned with. I am the only person who should give you pleasure. Her evidence in the witness box is continuing. Just to clarify, um, did she say how many times she had used cocaine? She said that she used it on around half a dozen occasions when she was looking after John Diamond and he was in the final stages uh, of his life. Uh, so that was back in, uh, I think, 2000. And 2003. I might need to check the, uh, the, the dates were not given uh, in court there, but that was around about the time that that was the situation that John Diamond was reaching the end uh, of his life. So she took it on around six occasions then, she said, and then on one more occasion in July 2010 when she was offered it to a friend because uh, she was feeling very depressed. Uh, and as far as the case itself is uh, concerned, uh, reminders that it, it is uh, two former staff who are uh, being charged uh, by uh, the Crown Prosecution Service. Yeah, let's remind ourselves that Nigella Lawson is not on trial. She is not charged with any offence, although the judge did say to her before she began giving her evidence this morning uh, that, uh, that anything that she uh, could say that might implicate her in a criminal offence, uh, she didn't have to answer the question, but she went ahead and, and answered that question directly in the witness box, despite that, uh, that warning from the judge. But the people who are on trial are two of her personal assistants, Francesca and Elisabetta, better known as Lisa Grillo, two personal assistants. Uh, who have worked for the Lawson and Saatchi family over a, a long period of time. In fact, Lisa uh, was originally uh, an au pair and a nanny uh, to one of uh, the Lawson children and stayed with her over the past uh, few years, even though uh, her duties in childcare uh, have uh, long since ended. Uh, she said that she loved Lisa. Uh, she also said that she felt betrayed by Lisa when she found out that uh, the offences that uh, the two women are charged with are taking credit cards which were given to them to be used for household expenditure and spending hundreds of thousands of pounds allegedly on personal items such as holidays, hotels and clothing.